Hi, and welcome back to Women of History, a channel where we share stories about remarkable women from the past. If you're new here, I'm so happy you decided to click on this video. Today, I'm starting a new series where we talk about things like paper bags, windshield wipers, and the flat iron, like the head device, not the building. But that's such a random list of things, Anjana. What could possibly connect them? I'm so glad you asked. Throughout history, there have been inventions that have been miscredited. Okay, I know that's not a word, but it fits the situation so perfectly. Monopoly was invented by Elizabeth McGee, but credit was given to a man named Charles Darrow. Candice Pearl's neuroscience discoveries were credited to a man named Dr. Snyder. And historians debated for a long time whether the first descriptions of algorithms and computer programming were actually written by a woman, aka Ada Lovelace, or whether they were written by her partner, Charles Babbage, who himself stated that Ada Lovelace was behind the writings. So it's fair to say that there's a history of inventions by women being credited to other people. Well, among these inventions was the mass market paper bag machine, the windshield wiper, and the flat iron. So let's get into it, beginning with the story behind the paper bag. The inventor of the paper bag was a woman named Margaret Knight, and Knight was a natural problem solver. She worked in an unregulated factory at the age of 12 to support her widowed mother, and while doing so, she created a system that was adopted across the cotton industry to prevent the leading cause of injuries in such factories. I don't know what you were doing at 12, but inventing things as a preteen? Couldn't be me. And none of this is to say that Knight didn't have a childhood. In fact, she would make kites and sleds that her peers actually really loved. But anyway, as a teen, Knight would work all sorts of technical jobs, including photography to textiles, anything to support her and her mother. One such job was at the Columbia Paper Bag Company, where employees would make every single bag by hand. And now it's time for random math with Sanjana. It's probably wrong, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, so I did a quick Google search on how long it takes to make a paper bag, and one website said about five minutes. Let's say about 10 billion paper bags are used a year in the United States, with about 70,000 people making them. So it would take about 12,000 hours per employee per year to make paper bags by hand. And that excludes the bags that are going unused. So while I was filming, the sun went down, but in addition to being time consuming, making paper bags by hand often caused mistakes. Noticing this, Knight decided to make a machine to make the paper bag with one important adjustment. The bottom parts of the bag were square. This style of paper bag is quite common today, but at the time it was unusual and expensive. So Knight tried for the first time to file a patent for her invention, which was a bold step for a woman at the time, only about 10% of patents were held by women. At the same time, having witnessed the developmental stages of Knight's paper bag, a man named Charles Anand claimed the invention. And the two actually had to fight the patent out in court, till Knight came out on top when she presented hand-drawn blueprints, which stood against Anand's claim that women couldn't invent anything. Knight ended up spending a significant portion of her earnings on legal fees, and while she lived comfortably for some parts of her life, she eventually died with only $300 to her name. But that's the story behind the paper bag. Tune in tomorrow for more about women inventors. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a comment with women that you think people should know. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and other social media accounts, all linked below in the description. And see you next time for more Women of History. Candice Perth's neuroscience discoveries were credited as were Candice Perth's which sounds like a nightmare. Okay, not funny. Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs>